Hello and thank you for watching basic CNC programming for the CNC mill. If you've ever stood in front of a computer screen or a, or a CNC mill and you you watch the program run and you wonder what it all means, the X's and the Y's and the G's and the M's, then study out these next few videos where I'll explain what it all means. So if that's of interest of you, then I'm going to go into the very basics of how a program is put together and where it all starts. So let's get your pen and paper out and let's get started. Alright, so let's talk about the Cartesian coordinate system and how it relates to CNC programming. Alright, as you can see I have drawn two axes here, a horizontal axis being the x-axis and a vertical line being the y-axis. Now there are points infinitely on these x-axis in either direction and also on the y-axis and of course also away from these axes anywhere in this space. Now what we need to learn today is depending on what direction we find these points will either give this these points a plus or a minus value and that is very important to understand because when you look at a CNC program you'll see plus and minus values and that is what we're gonna learn here so where these two axes intersect we'll call that the origin okay and at that point or at that intersection the X and Y values are zero now when we move to the right of that origin we'll go into an X plus direction when we go to the left of that origin we go into an X minus direction when we go up from origin we'll go into a Y plus direction and if we go down we'll go into a Y minus direction alright so as you can see these two lines kinda of divide this area up into four quadrants okay you got a quadrant here which we'll call quadrant one you got a quadrant here which we'll call quadrant two three and four now depending on which quadrant will find these points in will determine their plus and minus value alright so for instance we have a point right here and as you can see it is kind of in line with the three on the x-axis and also three in line of the y-axis now that puts that number in a quadrant where all the values are plus in X and plus in Y as you can see right here so the X and Y value for that point right there will be X plus 3 Y plus 3 now right off the bat in CNC programs if a value is plus there's no need to put the plus sign next to it However, in this quadrant number two, we also have a point that is at a distance away in X minus three and Y plus three. So now it is important that we put the minus next to it. So that's how the program will know that this point is now located in this quadrant. Okay so let's look at quadrant number three again we're a distance away minus three in x and then minus three in y so the x value will be minus three and the y will be minus three and so therefore we put the minus next to it okay very important so we got one left quadrant number four any points found here we'll have an x plus value and then a y minus value so that point is sitting at x3 to remember anything to the right is plus anything below the x-axis is y minus again on this point right here 
quadrant 1, x plus y plus, quadrant 2, x is minus y is plus, quadrant 3, x minus y minus, quadrant 4, x plus y minus. So in this example, you'll see how this relates to a CNC mill program. In the previous illustration, we just drew these points at a distance away from the origin. Right now, I've drawn a 8x8 square, and these points represent holes that we're going to have to drill in a block. Now, we're telling the machine that the origin, or x0, y0, is in the center of that block. And so, we need to tell the machine the coordinates where these holes are going to be drilled at. And obviously, this square spans all four quadrants, so therefore, you're going to have plus and minus values. And so here I think it's very easy to see why it is important to understand plus and minus values depending on where the origin is located. Now, let's look what happens when we move this whole square and move it in this number one quadrant. Alright, so here you can see we have shifted our 8x8 eight eight square all the way into quadrant number one. But in essence, we just told the machine that instead of the origin being in the middle, we're putting it on the lower left-hand corner. And so you can see, by looking at the x and y values, first of all, they're both plus, but they're completely different from what they were in the previous example. And so it's very important, first of all, that when you set up a part in the machine, that you determine where the origin is, and that obviously is going to determine the x and y values, and the plus and minuses. All right. So we have talked about x and y, which, which is a flat plane. But obviously there's a third plane, which is the z-plane, and that's what we'll discuss next. All right, so here we're still looking at our 8x8 eight eight square in our x and y plane, which is a flat plane. But obviously our block that we're going to be machining is uh, it's got some thickness. So we're going to have to add a, another axis which will give it some thickness. So that will be the Z axis. And you can see it also has a plus and a minus. And that also corresponds with the head on the machine. When the holes are drilled, the machine will be moving into a Z minus direction. And then when it retracts to go back to its home position, it will move into a plus direction. You can see here that the bottom of the part is even with uh, minus 4. So, and the top of the part is even with the origin. So that would be Z0. So here you've learned the three axes that makes up a three axis CNC mill and how the plus and minuses of the X and Y and Z relates to the Cartesian coordinate system. So let's move on to the next video and let's see how we pick coordinates to the center line of a tool as we mill the outside shape of this square.